What's up everybody? My name is Hong Nguyen. Welcome to Golden Nugget Book Review. So in today's book review, we are going to extract from uh, Will Durant's The Greatest Minds and Ideas of All Time. So now there's a section in this book. Uh, oh, by the way, before I get Happy New Year, everybody, I wish you guys all the best. Health, wealth, love, happiness, and whatever else you may desire in your life. So let's get it off to a good start. So back to what I was saying. Now there's a section in this book and it's called The 10 Peaks of Human Progress. So the author Will Durant, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, this is not the first time I extract from this book, from this author. He's a very, very well-known, world-renowned historian, philosopher, uh, won Pulitzer Prize, the Medal of Freedom. I mean, yeah, he's, he's really a great, great mind, great thinker and... Um, Definitely, the more I read this guy, the more I love him. So, let's get back into it. Now, the 10 peaks of human progress. So, essentially, there's 10 things. And in this video, we're just going to touch on one. Because, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, one golden nugget, five, under 5 minutes, that's it, that's all. Right? That way, it's easily digestible and you guys can go on uh, about your day and hopefully use this or at least... Uh, well, yeah, use it, really, you know, and or at least have it inspire you and enlighten you in, in, in one way or another. So, of course, the uh, the peaks of human progress, right? The, the 10 peaks of human progress. So this one I'm going to touch on, and this is the first one in the list, is speech. All right, now, think of this for just for one second, and it's pretty, it's pretty wild because... If we never learn, if we never develop speech, you know, and it started off pretty rough, like it started off by mating calls uh, that animals use, right, to attract their mates and, and stuff like that, uh, if you look at evolution. But without these words, we never would have been able to be who we are, to define who we are, to communicate, to, to work together, to develop a society. So it's... It makes a lot of sense. I mean, one of the things, like, we take it for granted because, you know, everybody just grew up. And, of course, as we grew up, we were taught how to, how to talk. But, I mean, it's not something that's natural. Like, for example, walking is a natural human uh, condition, right? Because our, the way our hips are, 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 are shaped, we're made to be erect. Uh, hence the word homo erectus, right? The, the name of our species. But... Speech is something that we developed and it was passed on uh, generation to generation. So when you think about it, it's crazy because without that, how, like, how, how would we have achieved what we achieved now? Like look at the science, look at the buildings around you. Like the, everything has to do with communication, even mathematics. We needed a way to, to, to talk about this, to be able to, to um, and to have the other person understand us too, like develop speech and language like that's such a uh, an important thing so yeah so i i really think that it's this is such an interesting fact and we once again like i'm repeating myself but we take it for granted but really it was it's considered the first thing the first major progress of humanity so let's see here. Do I have a time a little bit? Okay, I'll read this quick, quick, but I'll try to keep it. Uh, I'll try to do it under a minute. Speech. Think of it not as a sudden achievement, nor as a gift from the gods, but as the slow development of articulate expression through centuries of effort, from the mating calls of animals to the lyric flights of poetry, without words or common nouns that might give to particular images to the ability to represent a class generalization would have stopped in its beginnings and reason would have stayed where we find it in the brute. Without words, philosophy and poetry, history and prose would have been impossible and thought could never have reached the subtlety of Einstein or Anatoly France. Without words, man could not have become man nor woman, woman. Now, I, I hope I read that in a way that was clear to you guys, but... Uh, I mean, I couldn't have said it better than the author. That's why I, I insisted on, on reading, uh, you know, that paragraph there. So that's it for this video, guys. We're a little under eight seconds left. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next one. And done.